Hey, and welcome to the most exciting video you are ever going to see in your entire life. It is the boot speed test between WebOS 2.0 on the Palm Pre 2 on the right and the Palm Pre Plus using WebOS 1.4.5 on the left. Um, and here we go. Um, now, the Palm Pre 2, as you know, is uh, new hardware. Um, and uh, what I have here is pre-production hardware, and so I don't want to spend too much time getting into the details of it. Um, but uh, what Palm has announced is that it's uh, got a one gigahertz processor. Uh, we know that it's got a five megapixel camera on the back, and we know that there's, you can see obviously this uh, nice bezel around the side uh, is a, you know, much less prone, I think, to uh, cracking than the uh, current iteration. And I, they fixed that fiddly USB battery door by getting rid of it which I'm really happy about. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, this is the most exciting video you're ever going to see, and it's watching these two phones boot up. Uh, although, uh, more to come, we are also going to launch as many apps as possible on both of these phones and see which one can go the furthest. Um, I think you can guess which one. Anyway, uh, that's it, man. Uh, you're watching the Palm logo flash, and uh, I promise it gets more exciting when uh, we start launching apps. But bottom line, we're just seeing which one boots faster, man. Which one's it going to be? I think you know. Um, and uh, we're still booting up. WebOS takes a long time. Hey, look at that. There we go. WebOS 2.0 is fully booted, and we'll just wait for uh, WebOS 1.4.5 to join the club. Are you excited yet? It is pretty exciting. Alright, well this is clearly going to take a while, so let's just start opening apps on uh, WebOS 2.0 device. Okay, quick launch wave to get your launcher. Camera app. Camera app is slowing things down a bit. That's okay. Google Maps, we're still booting. Hey, there we go. Memos. All right, so we're going to cut away while I go crazy nuts opening up lots of apps on both of these devices, and uh, we'll fill you in when we start hitting the limit. All right, so after opening up a ton of apps on both of these phones, the Pre 2, and the Pre Plus. Um, we're up to about 50. Um, we've got a whole bunch open here on the Pre Plus and it's starting to bog down on me a bit. Uh, it's having a hard time opening new apps and uh, more importantly when you go into say some of these multiple browser windows we've got open it's not able to hang on to those page uh, in the background. It needs to reload them when you go back to the card. Um, but here on the, uh, the, the Pre 2 we're also up to 50. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 17, And in addition to that, you can see that it's hanging on to, well, that's actually an app, not a browser card. We got a browser card open? Yeah, I'm sure we do. There we go, there's a browser. Hung on to that without having to reload it in the background, which is pretty impressive. Uh, but we're going to keep going here. We're up to 50. We might as well try to get to 52, right? So let's open up a couple more browser windows. And uh, we'll hit some shortcuts on these. 51. 52. 53. Hey, there we go. 53. And you can see it's, uh, it's handling things pretty well. Of course, we're loading over Wi-Fi. Uh, let's open up some uh, 3D games. I've already got Angry Birds and uh, Ancient Frog and I think Tanks open. We can open up Risk here. And there you see it's starting to uh, get a little bit grumpy about having to open up a uh, yet another 3D game. I think this would be the third one. There it is. Too many cards. So there we go. 53 cards and it, uh, it brings it up when you try and open up your third or maybe even fourth PDK app. Oh, there we go. Managed to get it up here. 
So let's let risk load for a moment. Actually, we can pause it if we really want to. But we'll uh, let it try again. Yeah, okay, we have definitely brought the pre-2 to its limit. And that limit is 50-something cards, some of which are, there's one, and actually here, let's take this guy and drag him over to our other uh, 3D apps. You can see how dragging cards works here. We've got uh, much more information on how stacks work in another video here. But I just want to show you all the 3D games that we have open right now. You can also see that moving cards around with this many cards is uh, quite a chore. They got rid of the tiny card view, so sliding stuff around takes a bit longer than you might like. So you want to make sure that you get your stacks sort of organized from the get-go, so you're not stuck doing this. Although probably you're not going to have 50 cards open at once. There we go. So we've got Angry Birds, Risk, Tanks, Ancient Frog. Oh, let's throw Assassin's Creed in the mix here. Uh, so that's a bummer, but all of these apps are fully here and working in the background, and you can play any of them. Pause them quickly, jump into the next one, etc., etc. So there you go, 50 something almost 60 before we get to a too many card error and really the too many card error came because uh, we were loading up too many 3D games.